everybody, I want to introduce you to the bugs in San Francisco. The San Francisco Bay Area is where nearly 7.5 million people call home. It's also home to a diversity of bugs. And they don't just live here in the countryside. In fact, an average home has about 100 different species of arthropod within. I got to join a small group of entomologists who are trying to go to homes and study this urban wildlife. Because by sampling many houses across this region, we can better understand who we're living with and get a feel for how this region's urban arthropods are unique. So here's how a typical day goes. We'd drive around San Francisco in Michelle's car, and Matt and Misha would help navigate. Once we'd figured out where we're supposed to be, we'd observe, collect, and preserve the bugs. Then we'd bring them back here to the California Academy of Sciences, where we'd put them under the scope to figure out what we have. Then we'd start the whole process all over again. What it really consists of is going in and looking really closely at near the ceiling and on the floors and in the cracks with headlamps and extra flashlights and using forceps and aspirators to try to get everything that we can find. I'm super curious what they're going to find. She's literally sucking up bugs. Well, I think the most exciting thing to me is just that we are all living with a ton of bugs in our homes, so uh, that's fun. And I know that people don't love to hear that, but the truth is the bugs that we're living with, most of them are completely harmless uh, and probably play interesting roles in our houses. While most of the crew is collecting, part of my job is to document the diversity of creatures that share the home from the ones that we know about... Oh, hi. <laughs> ...to the ones we often don't think of. That actually may be a clothes moth or something close. I find these photographs to be one of the best ways to appreciate these critters. After sampling a bunch of houses, here are some of the unique findings. Earlier today we found book lice in some rice. Book lice are probably one of my very favorite uh, arthropods we've collected. They're just cuties. And book lice were found in nearly every house. Most houses also contained lots of carpet beetles and tons of flies. Flies are amazing because they represent about 10 to 12 percent of life on Earth. So when you think about all the diversity on the planet, one out of every 10 living things is a fly, which is amazing. I really had no idea how many flies there were or that they kind of populated such an amount of uh, like biodiversity in the world. Humans and arthropods have been living and evolving together for all of our history. I'm working really hard to get over my fear of spiders, so I'm trying to like come into contact with spiders as much as possible, like instead of immediately squashing them with newspaper. Spiders are great in houses because they've already collected a lot of the arthropod diversity in a house, so when we get spider webs, typically they're full of all kinds of stuff. So. so here's a quick rundown of what Michelle, Misha, and Matt have found in previous houses. First, arthropod diversity decreases the higher up you go. Secondly, there's more diversity if the house has carpet. And third, the diversity of bugs increases the more greenery is around the house. In the end, we're still a bit unsure how San Francisco is different. That's why we're going to all seven continents, from the cities to the rural jungles, so as to give us a better picture of the bugs that live with us every day. And you'd think that we know a lot about them. The truth is, other than a few pest species, we know very little. There's still a lot to discover. I think any entomologist would say that we would definitely find a new species if we explored enough houses because there's just a lot of unknown diversity. And I learned that you don't have to be an entomologist to stumble upon one of these unique organisms if only you take the time to learn and observe this wonderful diversity of arthropods that live in our homes. So if you like that, we're going to all seven continents. Check it out. In fact, this playlist right here is where we're going to be putting all of them as we do these throughout the year. Also, we did a little episode with D News you can check out right here. Little facts about the bugs in your home that you didn't even know about. And remember, stay tuned for more videos here from Untamed Science. I want to share with you guys some tips and tricks on how to photograph insects. And to do that, we have Matt Bertone here 